Hello friends, welcome to Knitography. I'm Patricia and I'm popping in to say hello this weekend from the middle of the forest. I'm taking a little break from work on the farm to just have some quiet time and to sit and knit. I've been spending a lot of time in the forest lately with my blockers and foraging and just being quiet and listening to the birds. It's been really busy at school, so this is an opportunity for me to just get centered and to enjoy nature, which is what makes me the most joyful and happy. Uh, but today I thought it was the perfect opportunity to just say hello because I know uh, many of you have been messaging me to ask me about uh, my vlog. I took a little break from vlogging to let the excitement of the Eventyr Walter trunk show to die down a little bit. There was a lot of interest in the trunk show which made me very excited and very happy. And actually, I'm not really finished with the trunk show because I want to share the rest of the mittens and I want to just talk about my, my love for them with you. And I have been so fortunate to have them in my possession. So I'm going to finish up the trunk show, but I needed a little bit of a break because I know there was a lot of disappointment from many people that did not have the opportunity to purchase the book. Unfortunately, the book sold out. I never dreamed the book would sell out. So, yeah, when people didn't get the book, they felt a little bit left out of the trunk show. And even though there is ebooks connected to this beautiful book, uh, translated into English, it was the issue of not really being able to have all of the patterns. So anyway, I know that was a disappointment and it was really hard for me to have to say, I'm sorry we don't have any more books. And you know, when you make these vlogs, they're on YouTube always, but they're not current. So people would watch them and they would email me and they'd be all excited and then I had to tell so many people uh, that the book was sold out. And after a while that got a little bit disheartening and I also got really sad when people were disappointed that all of the patterns were not available in the ebook. So anyway, uh, I'm feeling a lot better about it now and I realize that I need to be more articulate and clear in sharing that the book is sold out when I begin the videos. So from now on I'm going to preface um, that the book is sold out and what I'm sharing is only available within the ebook and I'll try to be very clear which patterns are not available. I think it's very generous of the Valtologa to have translated them into English and I've had many messages saying, you know, this is the one that I want to knit but it's not available in the ebook and do you think if we make a lot of messages they will translate it and I don't really think that pressuring the Valtologa to uh, translate uh, the other patterns is a good solution either. So anyway, I wanted to take a break from all of that because this book means a lot to me, the mittens mean a lot to me, and I feel so privileged to have been able to have the mittens in my possession that I wanted to really just take a break and get some perspective. Yeah, let it die down a little bit as I said. So I'm working on the videos for the final uh, trunk shows. Those will be released very soon and then we can finish up the trunk show and I'll have to sadly return the mittens to the Valtologa because of course they are preparing for the mitten day in October and they're gonna need the mittens for that event 
which I'm happily joining. So as I said, the last time I visited with you, I was just about to travel to Denmark to finish up some of the knowledge that I needed to acquire for work on the farm. And I had such a beautiful experience. I learned so much. I met some incredibly talented and interesting people. Uh, I've been connected with them since I returned and that has just been so rewarding. We've shared a lot of knowledge through texting and staying in touch and yeah, it was such a rewarding experience for me and I just can't recommend Gul in the in Denmark enough. I mean, first of all, their knowledge and their yarns and I have a lot more to share on upcoming vlogs when I get back into a routine about Gul and about my experience but I have just tried to come back to the farm and use all of that knowledge practicing and exploring and foraging with plants around my area so I have been very busy with that and also with my blockers developing some new Selbu accessories and all of these things you can see on my Instagram. You can see my hand dyed yarns that are available. You can see some new knitting accessories that I have designed to use up all of the birch tree cutouts from my blockers. You of course can see my blockers because I'm working on those. I'm also very excited because I'm going to participate in two amazing events coming up. Well, actually three, but one is coming up in just a few short weeks. Trondheim Knitting Festival has invited me to join their team in the market, and I just feel so honored that they ask me. So I am preparing blockers and accessories and yarn and really just taking my farm into the city, which is going to be an amazing event. I've also been invited to join the Middle of Norway Knitting Festival, which is happening in October. I'm also going to be participating in the Mitten Day in Lillehammer again, but as a vendor uh, and a participant too, but excitingly enough as a vendor. I am going to be traveling to be together with my friend Lori and again at Chickenwood and we're going to be meeting up with Andrea Adirondack Knitter again at Rhinebeck so I'm super excited about that adventure and I'm waiting to hear if I can have the good old trend or so on my farm. It's a long story which I'll share in the next vlog, but Monday I will be hearing about my final inspection and having three, two to three of the new lambs on my farm. The problem is really a communal problem that I'm doing paperwork for now. So more on that after I hear but I'm working towards, as you know, all of this with my blockers and my accessories and my hand dyed yarn is really just so that I can have the sheep on my farm, produce the wool, spin the wool, dye the wool, and uh, use it to become a sustainable farm here in the middle of Norway. So I'm very busy and I'm very excited and I have now applied uh, to work only 60% in the coming school year. So that means I'm going to leave first grade and do some other work as a teacher. And although that is very strange to me, I am really excited about it. That means that my farm will be working 40%. And those of you that have supported me 
on this adventure, I really just have you to thank for that 40% because the blockers and my bee butter and all of those things have allowed me to breathe life into my little farm. And although it's still a very long way to go, having it up and running for two days a week really feels like I'm on my way and that means a lot to me. So that is what I'm up to. I hope you will, even if you don't have an Instagram account, um, you can peek in on my account and in my stories. I also have been given access to the Knitography account on Instagram. It has been relinquished back to me, which I'm very excited about, but I'm only going to really uh, put my products on that account. So that's going to be something new that I've already I've already uploaded some of my small batch naturally dyed yarn there for sale uh, if anyone is interested because I have to kind of get some yarn out so that I can keep practicing and learning so I've been very fortunate that people have been interested even though it's only two or three uh, skeins within a small batch but that means a lot because if I can share that wool with other people then I can get more wool and practice my natural dyeing and continue foraging and so on. I'm also uh, exploring dyeing with fabrics because I'm going to work on a little collaboration with some small sock and mitten bags which I hope can go together with my blockers. So it's busy and it's very fulfilling and satisfying and it's been the most beautiful spring in Norway. I do not remember a more beautiful springtime it has been more like summer than it has been like spring. I've spent most of my time in the forest hiking, foraging, knitting. It's amazing the weather we're having. I hope that summer is going to hold out and remain dry and sunny and yeah that we'll have a beautiful summer. So friends, I just hope you'll check in on my Instagram, look at some of my new knitting accessories. I've got a brand new mitten brooch. I've got progress keepers. I've got zipper pulls. I've got um, some stitch markers coming up, which I'm still trying to, yeah, finalize. I want those to be quite perfect. I've got natural dyed yarn in small batches. Yeah. There's, I've got my blockers, of course, are available. And I just want to thank anyone that has shared my blockers forward to other friends or to their yarn shops. That allows my blockers and my mitten blockers to keep going to people that I really can't reach on YouTube or on Instagram. So I've had a lot of beautiful feedback about that and so appreciate it. I'm doing lots of knitting. I've knit Emma a beautiful cardigan and I'm working on a beautiful shawl right now which I will share with you for someone that really needs a warm hug that's in the midst of a, a real period of grief and so this shawl means quite a lot to me as I'm, I'm knitting on it now. So as I say I just wanted to say hello. I didn't really have a have a list of things I wanted to talk about but I hope you're doing well I hope those of you that have received your blockers are taking good care of them and keeping them conditioned as they become a little bit dry just make sure you keep them moist and well taken care of and I hope you'll be looking forward to my last a vlog of the fairy tale mitten trunk show which I'm editing now and will be out soon. I wish you a beautiful end to your weekend and look forward to meeting you again from the middle of Norway.